For those of us who brave the dangus of space, there are but two rules. Don't fly without rebuy, and don't expect anyone to feel bad about it if you do. The rest you have to work out on your own, kid. But if I had to give you one piece of advice, it would be to buy some Cooper Orbital Tea. It's the tits. Throw some hot water in your hut and mug and teabag the shit out of it. Right in the Cooper. This episode is also sponsored by Cooper Orbital Tea. And if you can't tell, Captain Spatula's piggy bank is feeling a bit on the light side. So it was time to focus on making some sweet buck. Partially with selling out to the tea companies, but also with some good old-fashioned grinding. If I lost my ability to prematurely inject, I think I'd die. Using evasive maneuvers to throw off any fans following me, I was trying to keep a low profile after the recent film competition. I had heard word that the Canon Research Group had put out a community goal to build a megaship for science. They needed pilots to haul shipments of tea and take down local criminals, because apparently that's all you can do in this universe. Now, it wasn't exactly going to be easy to stay incognito with so many other pilots there, but the payouts from Canon were just what I needed. Help out science and my cutthroat corporate overlords in the tea industry at the same time. It was like throwing a stone at two birds in a bush, killing both birds, and then realizing the bush was actually a Cooper Grow at Home cockpit tea bush. Perfect for growing your own genetically modified beverages in the comfort of your own spacecraft. The only thing better than a tea bag from Cooper is Cooper's cockpit bush for unlimited tea bags. That's what they pay me to say. But we'll see who's humiliated when I'm rich again. Right, Nova? No. Well, what do you know? Well, I chose to equip my ship for maximum stealth and headed to Zoline Port at LTT-377, packed with tea bags coming out of my cargo. Every time I turned the ship, those Cooper tea bags kept slapping me in the eyes and forehead. But it would all be worth it soon. Sheltering my signal in front of that of a nearby orca, I made it inside undetected. It would seem that my space ninja abilities have improved quite a bit. I can walk into any room and immediately become completely ignored. That's the kind of skill which helps you get ahead in life. Which is good, because sometimes I have a nasty habit of losing my own. But let's get those tea bags to the bank. Alright, here we go. Spatula! I know you're in there! Oh no! I recognize that voice! It's my impression of Harvey Thrasher, which can only mean one thing. Oh, ever since I called him a lunatic and crashed his Corvette and multi-crew, he's been hot on my trail, trying to challenge me to a PvP duel for a chance to win back his besmirched honor. Well, you're on, Harvey. It's dueling time. Now, giving me the choice of weapons, I opted for sea mammals. Both dolphins, railguns only, and full armor plating. In an aquatic ram-off that would create a tsunami of entertainment for those dropping in with tea leaves for science. Of course, while he was busy outfitting, I found myself a good place to hide. Now who needs honor when you have the element of surprise? Nestled into the station trimmings, I turned on silent running. And as soon as he left the station, it was time to spring into action! A little too much spring, maybe? Ah! Okay, now I'll surprise him. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, alright. Well, maybe he's gone by now. I can just jump away and evade him altogether. Get back to hauling tea. Oh, no. There he is. Great. Oh, hi, Harvey. Uh, listen, about this whole Dangus dolphin duel thing, I, I think we maybe we could restore your honor in another way. Like, like uh, I'll get you a whole case of Cooper Orbital Tea from my sponsors. Wouldn't that be great? And then we could drink tea together, like sophisticated gentlemen. What, what do you say, Harvey? Is that is that of interest to you? you? No, but deploy hard points. Tally ho! Okay, Harvey, it's on. All right, you're gonna feel the heat of the spatula. I'm gonna press you into the grill of these rail guns. You'll just hold still for a minute. That's it. That a boy. Oh, wait, I'm the one that's moving. Alright. Now, it's a well-known fact that dolphins are the only small-sized ship that enjoy dueling for pleasure. Light and nimble, speed and maneuverability are the dolphin's specialties. With irresistible curves hardened for sharpness, the dolphin both resembles and embodies a good old-fashioned torpedo. And while frowned upon by the galactic insurance companies, many commanders who sit the helm of a dolphin soon give in to temptation and find themselves slamming into things. Hey, where'd Harvey go? Harvey? Oh shit, he's behind me! Ah, run away, run away! No! Spatula, this is a duel. You don't run away, you fight. Like a man inside a dolphin clawing his way out, refusing to be digested after being eaten alive. Yes, in this space porpoise I have found my purpose. To weave among the stars like a piece of plastic in the ocean current, and strike like a wave cresting over the breakwater. I am man, yet I am also sea. I am sea man. And from the kelpie shadows I ride my glorious steed into battle, spouting cyclones of fury with my railguns, and shifting the tectonic plates themselves with my glorious battle boots. I finally understand the 1990s Sega game Echo of Dolphin as well. As a kid I used to play that game and wonder 
Who the fuck made a dead serious dolphin combat simulator with horror undertones? But now I completely get it! Dolphins aren't, like, that pansy flipper, all friendly and helpful. They're purebred death machines, meant for one porpoise, for one porpoise alone. To eat fish. And Harvey is my fish. And I like my sushi raw. Okay, where are you going, Harvey? Stop with all these twisty shenanigans and let me finish you off already. Our battle raged on for hours. As our ammunition started to dwindle, there was no stopping now. This wasn't a duel to the death. We had agreed to a ceasefire at 20% hull. We aren't savages. There was no need to stress my piggy bank out just for honor. You know, my Uncle Jerry used to teach me that honor was something that pussies used to bring up to try and get out of being mugged or stabbed. And that real honor was being able to provide for your family. Which is why I was sold to the deuterium mines at such an early age. So that Uncle Jerry could pay off his gambling debts and continue to look after the rest of the spatula brood. Of course, that was a long, long time ago. And while I was remembering those times, Harvey snuck up on me and managed to break my windshield, delivering the death blow. So much for getting any of that honor stuff. But at least Harvey didn't toast my ship and break my bank. So I guess I'll just head back to the station here and... Hey, leave me alone, Harvey. Just get it, get out of there. The, the duel's over. Okay, we're good. Stop it! Stop ramming me! Okay, alright, you through? Let's go dock here. Wait, why is the station hostile? Darby, don't you... Do, what's going on? Woo! Double cross! Damn you! Now, it turned out that Harvey didn't double-cross me after all, but rather a local pirate lord had issued a bounty to silence a rather noisy dolphin. But Harvey, with his newfound honor, suggested we pay the local pirate faction a visit and dish out some justice. Wow. Honor and justice in the same session. I came a long way from hitting rocks for a living. If only my Uncle Jerry could see me now. But I gotta be quiet. We're hunting pirates. So I'm just gonna let the music take over. Shh. Shh. No, I think we need to go harder. Let's go full metal. Put up by the spatula. Soon enough, the community goal was over, and I made enough money for many rebuys over, and even enough left over to buy my ass a bit of a disguise. But more importantly, my contributions in tea and combat didn't just pay off for yours truly. The cannon got their ship built, and it was my intention to see what that was about. The cannon mega ship was named the Gnosis, because the more you Gnosis, the less psychosis. And that's an important thing to remember when traveling around in space. 
no my. This thing is the size of three space stations. And a real big engine to get around. Probably a slot size 99 FSD. A whole lot of power plants, weaponry. I mean, this mega ship is nothing to mess with, even though its corpus is peaceful. The intent behind the Gnosis is to create a traveling base of operations for mystery seekers across the galaxy that will be able to park itself in orbit over the latest galactic conundrum, providing easy access for all its crew. Well, the last time I provided easy access to my crew, I got several restraining orders. But for the canon, and indeed, all those who prize science and truth above all else, this was truly a momentous step. It's one small step for man, one big-ass ship for mankind. Now, let's see about getting permission to dock. There's got to be a control tower around here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Ahem. <clears throat> control tower to Gnosis. I mean, control tower Gnosis. This, this is Spatula. Did you read me? I don't read, but I can hear you. Oh, oh, oh hi. Y sorry, what was that? I don't read, but I can hear you. Uh, hi. Um, okay. Let me, let me do a spin for you, little dancing man. See, look, I, I, I'm dancing too. Dancing for science. Is, is that a thing? Hey man, can I get permission to dock? I, I'm looking to refuel and restock here. My screen is saying landing pad 7, but my heart is saying Mambo number 5. Okay then, um, landing pad 7 it is. I'll, I'll just go dock now. So there it is, the Gnosis. I fought for science and delivered some high quality teas. And now it's time to join the cannon in their dance party. For science just got itself a flagship. Of course, Thargoids are probably going to blow it up, but who knows what the future holds. If anyone does, they're certainly keeping tight-lipped. And so for now, I think the Gnosis might be my temporary home. A base of operation for science aces. A base of aces! Hey, that would be a great name for a band. Oh, well, I hope it's not Grumblecore. My throat hurts. Hey, thankfully I have all these tea bags. You know what they say about tea bags. If you like tea bags, you should like this video. And subscribe for regular tea bags delivered to your mouth. Goodbye!